Hello, everyone. We all know we're in the middle of a global pandemic right now. But what we may not realize is that the masks we use to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe are not that effective. They don't block a lot of the microbes that they could, and they also build up a ton of bacteria that ends up in your nose and your lungs. That's why at normalbrands.com, we treat each mask with a special solution that is harmless to humans and deadly to bacteria. Plus, they're great at keeping out most microbes, pollen, dust, as well as pollution. Perfect for all year use. So please stop by Normal Brands today to keep yourself, your family, and other loved ones safe. Peace, thanks, be well. Game Kings, the definition of game, documentary, coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, this video, man, oh my goodness, like, you know, I, I find it funny that a lot of guys are so creative at coming up with excuse after excuse as to why they're not, you know, getting things going how they want it to go in the dating game, right? And... I was looking through some of my comments and I forgot exactly which video this is under, but basically somebody wrote a comment about, you know, the game changing and it's like, oh, the game changed and all this other stuff. So I responded to that person and I said, so, you know, tell me exactly what has changed within the past like 20 years in a game. Like what's the difference? What's, what's actually going on? Right. So then someone uh, named differential 4201. Uh, wrote this comment and I'm going to read this comment to you and then I'm going to go in. All right. So this one says, he says, Lucario fan, social media and dating apps have inf inflated women's egos. As a result, flaking and ghosting are reaching all time highs. Relationships are less likely to form as people are hooking up more now. Uh, less people are getting married. Single mother households are exponentially growing. In the U.S., it is at 23% of homes. That means less eligible women in the dating pool. People are more obese, which makes less eligible women in the dating pool. The hottest women are becoming unattainable. They are being sectioned off into harems like yours, Dan Bilzerian, Dubai uh, Princes, or some other Chad swiping on Tinder. Uh, people are being treated as disposable. I don't deny the necessity of game. I just laugh when you pretend it hasn't changed. It is getting harder. Uh, Black Ram 313 admits this in, in one of his videos. Game is becoming less effective and younger guys like me can see it with our own eyes. Only you dating coaches who need to make money off people want to deny this, right? So then this guy named Jay Mitch, <laughs> he replies, under this, he says, I see he, he has no rebuttal for this. And then so differential 4201, he says, uh, facts, man, he knows it's true. That is why he's ignoring me. The stuff he wrote in his book in 2012 is already outdated. He just wants more book sales. Nobody should be dating coworkers at all. That is a recipe for disaster in the Me Too era. All right. So now <laughs> he said I was I'm ignoring him. Listen, uh, first of all, I wasn't ignoring you. I just didn't see the comment, but now I saw that. And out of that, I saw it. I was just going to write a response to you, but I was like, now nah, let me do a whole video on this and make this a teachable moment. And sometimes what happens is, is the reason why I don't respond back to certain dudes comments sometimes because it's goofy. You understand? But I'm, I'm responding to this because I know there's a lot of guys who sort of think this way. So I, I want to teach you guys what's actually happening and what's going on, right? See, what a lot of guys do is they say that, you know, the game has changed and, you know, all these things are changing. So now it's it's harder, you know, now more than ever to, to, to get things going. And, you know, you just don't understand that the game has changed and all the stuff you were, you know, that you dating coaches are talking about that's irrelevant and it's outdated and things are new now and you just don't understand and you're just trying to sell your books and all this other stuff now let me let me address that uh thing first and i'm gonna get more into what i'm talking about here right because you know he said 
He said, the book I wrote in 2012 is already outdated. I just want more book sales. Uh, nobody should be dating coworkers at all. So when he's saying nobody should be dating coworkers at all, he's referring to in my book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, where I have a chapter on how to date your coworkers, like how to get girls that you work with, right? Now, I actually agree with him with, when he says nobody should be dating coworkers at all. I agree. I, I, I always said, look, you shouldn't date your coworkers, you shouldn't date chicks that you work with, right? So why did I put that in my book? Why did I put that in my book? See, the reason why I put that in my book is because men are still doing it. Therefore, it is not outdated. You understand? And I put it in the book to show guys how to do it without fucking up your job situation. That's why I did it. You understand? Because no matter how much I tell dudes, look, don't worry about fucking with chicks at your job. They, they still do. I get emails all the time about some dude talking about, yo, this is girl at my job. This is girl at my job. You understand? Dudes still do this. So in the book, I teach you a way to do it so that it is uh, going to be a situation where you're not going to fuck your job up by, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like hollering at a chick at your job. So I teach you the strategy on how to make that shit happen, right? But see, what a lot of these guys do when it comes to, to this game is they're looking at things from their limited perspective when it comes to interacting with the opposite sex, right? So, you know, he's saying, oh, you know, the, the social media has changed the game and, you know, all these different things, right? Now, I want to I want to uh, talk about this this quote. Some of y'all probably heard this before, where it, you know it's a saying that says, "The more things change, the more they stay the same." Right? The more things change, the more they stay the same. Right? Now I'm on this website called uh, Quora.com, and somebody eloquently stated this because you know then they were saying, you know, what does it mean when we say the the more things change, the more they stay the same? Now this person said. Uh, the quote, the more things change, the more they stay the same as a reference to situations where there appears to be a meaningful change, but many underlying fundamentals are still the same. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. The quote, the more things change, the more they stay the same is a reference to situations where there appears to be a meaningful change, but many underlying funda fundamentals are are still the same all right so what does that mean so when dudes are saying like yo the game has changed and things are things are different now right what you gotta understand is it's like yeah things switched up there's things that are different now than they were probably 20 years ago 30 years ago 40 years ago right Th that's how that shit happens right but it's not anything significant to where the essence of what's actually going on is different. So in other words, even though there's things on the surface that change, right? Female nature is still the fucking same. You understand? This is what guys don't get. Female nature is not going to change, right? So, you know, you were saying in, in this, you were saying, oh, you know, uh, flaking and ghosting uh, is at an all time high. No, flaking and ghosting has been happening and continues to happen. It's not at an all time high. It's it's how it always has been. You understand what I'm saying? It's the same shit. People have been getting flaked on and ghosted on all the time. Right. Right. It's not at an all time high because of social media, because he's saying, you know, social media and dating apps has inflated women, women's egos. And as a result, flaking and ghosting has reached all time highs. Right. Women's egos have been inflated forever, even before social media was like a thing. You understand what I'm saying? Even before that was a thing, when dudes were just out here, just, you know, meeting chicks in different situations, trying to talk to a lot of different girls, women were still getting all this attention. The fact that the men, you know, us men are pursuers, 
We were always pursuing and women were always getting the attention of men trying to pursue them. See, a lot of guys, they think because, um, you know, a chick gets, you know, a thousand likes on Instagram and all that other stuff that is going to change her actually being attracted to a guy. You understand what I'm saying? She still has a vagina. She still wants to get dick. She still wants to have sex. And guess what? She's going to have sex with the guy she finds desirable. See, if you're talking about, oh, flick, flicking and, and, and ghosting and all that is at, is at an all-time high, that sounds more like a personal problem. You understand? Because, see, I, I think, guys, they, they have this... <laughs> They have this idea that the game got harder because social media got into this into the you know situation, meaning that without social media, they're thinking that they would be, you know, just racking it up with these bitches. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, I mean, let me tell you guys, uh, 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 you know, something you may not want to hear. Right. If you're having trouble getting chicks on dating sites, right? If you're having trouble, you know, like getting chicks off of social media or whatever it is, like I'm talking about significant trouble where you're like, damn, I can't, I can't get shit. Nothing's going on. Ain't no chicks trying to holler at me. Like ain't nothing popping off, right? If you're having trouble with that shit, you don't, you would have also been having trouble before social media, meaning that if, let's say, for example, let's say you are a young dude, like you're 20 years old, right? Let's say if you was born in, you know, if you're 20 years old, let's say you was born in the year 2000, you're 20 years old now, right? And you're having trouble on, on getting chicks on social media and getting chicks on dating apps and all of this stuff, right? You would have also been getting trouble getting girls at a house party or at some event or at some bar you know, if you were born, let's say in the 1970s, you understand what I'm saying? Because it's not the social media, it's not the fucking dating apps that's making it hard for you. It's your lack of motherfucking game that's making it hard for you. You understand what I'm saying? That's what's making it hard for you. So don't think you're, you're sitting there like, oh, it's because of social media. That's why I'm not getting girls because, you know, these women's egos are inflated. And if they're, if without if there wasn't social media, then it'll be easier for me and I would be making things happen. No, you will not. Because see, the, 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 the social media and the, the fucking apps actually make it easier for you. And I'm going to get to that in a second. Right. What, what also <laughs> what I found funny in, in his comment is that he said, the hottest women are becoming unattainable. Sounds like a personal problem to me, bruh. You understand what I'm saying? Because women that I find hot are not unattainable. You understand? I get with women who I find hot. I don't, I don't understand how are they unattainable. You see what I'm saying? He's saying, well, they're unattainable because they're sectioned off in the harems by Chad and, and Dan Bilzerian and all this other stuff. Excuses after excuses. I did a whole video the other day about you will never run out of women. There's billions, not millions, billions of women on this planet. What are you talking about? You understand what I'm saying? He said people are being treated as disposable. Sounds like a personal problem, bro. You understand what I'm saying? And see, the reason why I'm saying it's, it's it sounds like a personal problem is because it's always a personal problem. This is why I say you have to step up your game. Because guess what? There's guys out there who are attaining these hot women that you think are unattainable. There are guys out there who are not getting flaked on and ghosted on and at a at all time highs. There's guys out here who are are, are not being treated as disposable. You see what I'm saying? And see, let's let's talk about this whole thing about you know the game changing and that and that's what's you know making everything hard and all this other stuff. Because remember, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Because look at it this way: let's say, for example, if you if you look at a, a picture or a video of me, let's say in 2000, I don't know, 16, right? 
if you if you look at my beard, it's probably all black. But now in 2020, I got a little bit of gray in my in my in my beard, right? So yeah, my 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 uh, my hair has changed. The color of my hair has changed, right? But have I changed? Have I have I had this drastic change? Am I you know was in 2016 when my hair was black? Was I uh, you know this super Mac? Uh, type of guy who had game and then in 2020 because my beard got a little bit of gray in it I'm simping now am I am I totally like a, a totally fucking uh different character now am I a different person is, is my persona like this drastic change because you know uh my my the color of my beard changed in four years you understand what I'm saying so the essence of who I am hasn't changed so the more things change, the more they stay the same, right? Another example, YouTube has changed. They changed their dashboard, right? For any content creators, you know that YouTube changed their dashboard, right? Like now you got to click on some shit that says, hey, is this video for kids or not, right? And and they, they changed the dashboard a little bit with, the, with the, the YouTube studio or whatever, right? But just because that changed, does that actually change the essence of what the fuck we do on YouTube? No, we still upload videos. The people watch it. You can share the videos and you can subscribe. So what what has really changed? What what significant change has happened? See, you guys are talking about surface changes and making it seem as if that surface change has actually changed the essence of what you're dealing with. So you're like, well, the game changed. So now these women are acting. No, these women are acting the same exact way they've been fucking acting. <laughs> I don't understand what y'all we are coming with this bullshit, right? Another example, a dude, you know, you could say, you know, well, the music's changed because before, uh, you know, like, like, you, you know, uh, you, you had to buy CDs and now you can just stream stream music, right? That's true. On the surface, that changed. But guess what? You're still you're still only checking for the people you want to want to listen to, right? So just because you can listen to music for free and stream it on Spotify, if you're like a, a super hip hop head, I know you ain't going to stream no damn Garth Brooks, right? So you're 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 still going to fuck with the musicians and the artists you were going to fuck with anyway. You understand? Now earlier I was saying that the changes you know, that happen on the surface actually make certain things easier for you. So for example, let's say you are a, a, a musician or artist and you're like, man, you know, the game has changed, man, because now people, they, they, they get to, to stream my, my music for free. So they're not buying CDs anymore. So, you know, that shit sucks because before when people will buy CDs, it'll be easier for me to make more money because they would buy my CDs and now the game has changed, man. So what I was hard. Listen, that artist doesn't realize that because that shit changed on the surface, right? That actually makes it easier for him to make more money. You understand why? Because. Nobody don't even have to buy your shit anymore. So all you got to do is make that fire music and the the section of people who probably wasn't who couldn't even afford to buy your shit, right? They'll just listen to your shit and you'll make money. But see, that's how a person who has game thinks. See, a person who doesn't have game they're always looking at the way shit is and like, oh, well, it's because of this and it's because of that. No, you're not taking advantage of what you got going. So again, like I said, the shit is easier now for people who have game. Think about it this way. Before social media and before uh, dating apps, right? You actually had to go outside or go somewhere to meet a woman about this you had to go outside get dressed go to some place or whatever or, or or talk to some women outside in order to meet a woman and if you didn't do that you wasn't meeting a no woman now you could fucking sit in your house in your underwear scratching your balls 
and communicate with a woman on the other side of the town or the other side of the fucking world and have her come through to your spot. You understand what I'm saying? But dudes is crying. Well, man, the, you know, the dating apps and the, the social media, it ain't casting these shit. No, you ain't got no game, nigga. It's that simple. It's that simple. Listen, if you've ever, if you've ever, think about it, if you've ever uh, went on a date or had sex with a chick, you met on a, on a dating app. Right? I don't want to hear no niggas complaining. If you've ever went on a date, uh, had sex with, with a chick from a dating app, this should be no complaining, right? But those are the guys who aren't complaining. Guess who's complaining? The guys who are not getting the women on the dating apps. Because if you were getting the women on the dating apps, you would not be saying, damn, these dating apps and the social media is making it to where women's egos are inflated and now flaking and ghosting are at an all-time high. Sounds like a personal problem, bruh. You understand what I'm saying? Sounds like a personal problem. You see what I mean? Like... The more things change, the more they stay the same. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.